Shalom family, Shalom Israel. I love you guys. I hope you're doing fine in the Lord, considering, but there is good news. Father told me that he gives this dream, these dreams and words from the family, from the body of Christ and myself. He gives them to you today by his love and through his love. Oh my goodness. It really blessed my spirit and I hope it does yours too. Thank you, Yahushua Hamashiach. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like what uh, Francis was picking up. Francis from London. Hold on, I'll send it to you. Sorry, guys, one moment. Because um, I had a dream um, today because um, I wasn't feeling good, so I laid down. I had a dream that we were all, me, my children, and my baby daddy were at a church. It must have been a huge church here in America because they had even, like, rooms for us to live in and there was a part of the church like different parts of the church it must have been one of them big to live in and there was a part of the church like different parts of the church it must have been one of them big churches different parts of the church wherein people could worship and just like big areas like um I don't know, some big room, some boy was at, he was doing his prayer and everything. I think he was even doing videos and I was trying to find a place, a good spot to do my video. Um, there was even one of the girls, one of the, was even one of the girls, one of the other families, she came and was uh, laying down with my little seven-year-old, one of my twins. Yeah, both of my twins were watching television. The rooms had TVs in them. We were comfortable. We were gathered. We were doing a whole lot better than everything that's going on on this earth right now. I can tell you that much. Um, I remember seeing like a commons type area. Like I said, because there was a young man, he was a Caucasian young man. It was multiracials and ethnicities. Everyone was at this big, safe place. Um, I remember hearing it's time for lunch. It's time to be lunch. Time for lunch. Lunch is about to be served. Y'all got to get up and go to lunch. Come on. Everyone was carefree. Um it was beautiful. It seemed like it could have been off in the country somewhere. Um, people were outdoors and indoors living fine. It was, it was great, really. We had no, no worries, no stress. Everything was fine. Um, and I remember, like I said, trying to find a spot to do my little YouTube video to do the work of Christ. We were gathered. Um, I remember telling my baby daddy, my ex-husband, I said, yeah, you ain't never want to go to church before, but they got you locked in right now. I said, I say, but now they got you shut in the church now. Nah. And he started grinning and then he left our room. I don't know what this means. Or, I mean, he left our room, but like he was getting something out the drawer and he left the room. So I don't know if, if he just stopped in or, you know, would it, was he coming back? But um, he started grinning, you know, when I said that. And I just want to thank God for a sister Tay. God gets the glory. I will attach, I will show you and attach her YouTube channel. But she had a while back um, a dream that it was a big, huge church with a lot of people in it. And her husband, who is not close to God presently, was in it. Her youngest boy was all over the place. She's very protective of him. And an older... She said an old lady told her not to worry. He can run around because it's safe here. She said that um, my ex-husband's probably drawing closer to God. Um, the scripture says that Noah was the righteous one. Thank you, Sister Tay. And in, in the eyes of the Lord. And that's how his family was able to get on the ark. So she said that with that means uh, with you, you're righteous. And that means that he could possibly be saved. And that Yah is working on the hearts to soften people's hearts. So, um, I believe also that something's going to happen to purify people to accept Christ, who we have planted seeds in. And I say that because also in the dream, now get this, I don't get numbers all the time. In the dream today, earlier today, I saw the number 49. The number 49 means purification. Acts 21 and 26, I'm looking at it in the Greek, and it's a Greek dictionary. I kept seeing it a few times at the end of the other part of the dream. Purification, defect, 
to clean a defect. Wow, guys, God is going to cause something. Things are going to just progress on rapidly, I feel. And the people who are lost will, something will shake them to Christ. And they could possibly be saved right along with us based on this dream that me and Sister Tay had. And here's another confirmation. I haven't even shared this dream with uh, my dear sister, Naomi. She said that in her dream, she heard today that 2 billion will be saved. So you see me here saying, yes, yes, yes. And I, she don't even know what I dreamt. She don't even know what I dreamt. And oh my goodness, which is sad because like she says, it's 7 billion in the world today. So, wow. Well, we'll be in that number based on the dream I had today. I'll let you know as soon as I do the video. Can I add your confirmation? about? So see, she don't even, listen, why is everybody getting this today? This is so exciting, guys. Look up, your redemption draws nigh. What? Something's gonna happen. Here's another confirmation. Um, This comes all the way from London. Basically, I was watching the place she came. Basically, Francis in London says that his mom was washing dishes for the sixth seal, for a purification, a cleansing. He didn't know I had just seen 49 in my dream. Kim, but the sink is kind of, it's not as big as the ones we have in my, my sister's house or, or any other place. It's reasonable anyways. Or like the sink where you wash the plates. If you want to, uh, honestly, the sink is the same thing. So the space is not enough. So if you're washing the plates, somebody else, she has to something. She has to do something to provide or to the sixth seal. Basically, she was washing the plate to serve the sixth seal. I know it sounds crazy, right? She's washing the plates to to get 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 a clean plate to to activate the sixth seal. So basically, she's activating the sixth seal. Hallelujah. The sixth seal in Revelations because of the children and everything. She's worried for the children. Wow. And there was children in my dream. Um, My children. And then there was another young girl that I skipped forward. Y'all didn't hear it. But in my dream, in the church, in our little bedroom, because each, every family or whatever had their own room. And... There was a little girl that had came to watch TV in there with my twins. Please shut the door, guys. And I saw fried plantain as well. Memel, can you please come back and shut the door? Oh, because back home she fries a lot of stuff, usually on Saturdays or Fridays. Around that weekend time, that's the only time she has to fry all the stuff. We usually eat the stuff on Friday and Saturday. So, my brother used to come around, so. Usually this weekend time, sure. Because that's the time you have. You have to cut the, your frying potatoes, you cut the potatoes. You just plantain, you have to cut. Or plantain is fast, but sister's house or, or any other place. It's reasonable anyways. But like the sink where you wash the plates. If you want to, uh, it's usually, usually, 90% is always on the weekend. We cut potatoes, fried potatoes with egg. I saw fried plantain, lots of it. I believe we had egg as well, or so, something else, maybe rice. So I was in the kitchen. This is my dream. I was in the kitchen, washing the plates. No one walked into the kitchen. She wanted to, like, get another plate to serve the food. I think for herself or for other people or for my dad. All right, guys. So this is exciting. My dear sister, Joy, Bride of Christ, says the Lord is continuing to purify his people. This could be another interpretation part of the dream. As in the first part she received from the Lord where it says, and they serve him day and night. Oh, wow. I'm glad she had this part. Um, wow, what a nice twist. Bloom, where you are planted. I will attach uh, the link to her channel too. 
Okay, the end part. It is a false pretense of the NWO, the entrapment of the way the world is now, the quarantine, the part with the girl and my twins was symbolic of wickedness in the girl's part and trying to draw your twins into wickedness, but you told her to leave, which was symbolic of you fighting off the wickedness to protect your sons. Ex isn't ready, ex-husband isn't ready to receive the truth, of, but he soon he will. Not to date, like the way she was seven-year-old, one of my doing his prayer and everything, I think he was even doing videos, and I was trying to find a place, a good spot to do my video. Um, there was even one of the girls, one of the other families, she came and was uh, laying down with my little seven-year-old, one of my twins, and kind of too close up on him. And I was like, that's she too. I said, you're going to have to leave because you too close on my son. And you look like you way too, you know, he's not old enough to date. Like the way she was laying on him and trying to rub on him but whatever she was a little girl but she was a couple years older than him and I was like I don't even know what age group you you know you are because you look to be a little too old for him and she left but um I remember telling my baby daddy my ex-husband I said yeah you ain't never want to go to church before but they got you locked in right now I said I said but now they got you shut in the church now and he started grinning and then he left our room I don't know what this means or I mean all right, family, be safe and stay prayerful. Father loves you, and I do too. If anything resonates, please let me know. You can always comment below. I love you. Be blessed in Yeshua HaMashiach, Yehushua HaMashiach. We plead the blood of Jesus over you and your families and loved ones and friends. Amen.